Welcome to the very first episode of the Demonic Compendium, the show where I discuss the mythology, design, and game history of your favorite Megami Tensei demons. Today, I'm focusing on Mokoi, the evil little spirit from Down Under. Not that far under. Mokoi's description from Soul Hacker says that it's an evil spirit of Mernjin mythology believed to be reborn shadows. They kidnap and eat children and strike down sorcerers who use black magic. While many of Mokoi's game descriptions talk about it being an evil spirit from Mernjin myth that kidnaps children, other notable details brought up include Demikids, which states it preys after those with many years ahead of them, and Devil Survivor 2, which talks about it living in the jungle. True to Mernjin myth, Mokoi is an evil spirit, but an important note is they're often considered the second soul from a human being. In other words, Mokoi are often seen as the shadow self. Let that sink in when you're playing Persona 4, because summoning Mokoi there actually makes a lot of sense. In Mernjin mythology, the natives believe that people didn't actually die of old age, so that when a person did die of old age, it was their Mokoi that ended their life. As for why there's so much talk of them attacking people that use black magic, that I'm not sure on. Maybe they just don't like competition. As far as Mokoi's design goes, okay, I'm gonna be honest, I love this guy. He's just so silly. I always thought he kind of looked like the stinky cheese man. Does anyone remember that story? Good times. Mokoi's design was probably a tricky one, because there isn't too much information on what a Mokoi is supposed to look like. They don't really have a specific form of their own, since they're considered spirits of humans, though sources have described a human taken over by a Mokoi as deformed and peculiar looking. Mokoi's design is possibly based on the... Zen... Thor... Uh, Zen... Thor... Hey... Um... The Australian Grass Tree. Australian grass trees have interesting trunks that do often curve and twist in ways resembling Mokoi's posture. This is covered by him being known for living in jungles, and could also explain the texture of his body resembling wood, his green coloration from the grass, and the bottoms of his hands and feet resembling the inner workings of a tree trunk. This also accounts for Mokoi being weak to fire in most of the video games. Certain types of Australian trees are nicknamed Black Boy, a name originating from the tree supposedly resembling an Aborigine boy carrying a spear. This may also explain Mokoi's arguably childlike appearance. As for his boomerang... He's Australian. As far as the games are concerned, Mokoi is often depicted as a pretty weak demon. In his first appearance in Devil Summoner Soul Hackers, he was a level 7 demon with lightning and physical spells, two traits fairly common to him throughout the games. In the Raido Kuzunoha games, Mokoi is a member of the Pagan Order, which gives him the ability to read the minds of humans to gather important information. While he originated in Devil Summoner, Mokoi has gone on to appear in Demi Kids, Devil Survivor, Shin Megami Tensei, and Persona as a recruitable ally. His level ranges anywhere from 2 to 35, but even in the strongest, Mokoi have never been considered a powerful demon. Except for the level 80 boss Mokoi you can fight in the 3DS version of Soul Hackers. That Mokoi absorbs magic and resists physical, so he'll put up a fight. Goes to show how good a Devil Summoner Raido is to train such a powerful demon. Speaking of Raido, Mokoi is often seen as one of the mainstays of his team, despite Mokoi not being considered anything special in either of the two Raido games. Mokoi has made appearances in the Devil Summoner manga, Raido Kuzunoha vs. the Lone Maribito, and even appeared in the special Japanese-only version of Nocturne, where Raido replaced Dante throughout the story. Look at him, he's just so silly, and I love him. I'm guessing someone else at Atlas must like Mokoi as much as I do, because he does seem to pop up in a lot of places that seem peculiar for just some random demon. You can get a doll of him for your shelf in Persona 4, potentially alluding to him representing a shadow, and he even appears in the opening credits of the Devil Children anime. And so there you have it, Mokoi, the Mernjin spirit that can, but usually won't. Did I leave out some important information? Was I just plain wrong about something? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to suggest your favorite demons for me to cover in future episodes. Thanks for watching this episode of the Demonic Compendium, and I'll see you next entry. But be careful while you rest that a demon doesn't take over your body.